All right, folks, one last robot C tutorial. Uh, we are going to talk about the claw. Well, not that claw. Nope, nope, not that claw. Oh, but that claw. Nope, not that one either. This one. We want to talk about uh, the VEX claw that we can hook up to the Cortex. Okay. Our goal is to get the claw to work like this. So here is my potentiometer. I want to be able to turn my potentiometer one way, have the claw open, and then turn this the other way, and have the, have the claw close. All right, so that's the program I want to write. And uh, let's get into Robot C and take a look here what we got. So I'm going to open up a new file. As usual, I'm going to check my settings. So I go into Robot, Platform Type, make sure it says VEX. <clears throat> Try that again. Make sure it says VEX 2.0 Cortex and Natural Language PLTW. I move up to Communication Mode, USB only. And then the last thing, I go to View, down to Preferences, and I make sure that neither of the auto file save uh, lines are checked. So I'm good. I'm ready to write a program. The uh, first thing I have to do now is tell uh, my computer what I have plugged into my Cortex. Okay, again, that's Motors and Sensors set up here at the top. And I'm going to start with a motor. I know port 2, I always do a right motor. This one I don't have to. I'm going to go to port 1, and the claw has a special connector. There's only two pins on a claw motor, and there's three pins on all the others. So it automatically goes into port 1, and I can just call it claw motor. Okay, pretty original, I know. And then the drop-down menu, VEX393 motor. I'm going to apply. And then I'm going to go to my analog sensors tab at the top. Like I've always done before, Potentiometer is going to go into IN2, port 2, uh, under analog settings, potentiometer, and then the drop down menu, potentiometer. Okay. Press apply, click OK, and then against the top we can see kind of what I have plugged in potentiometer, claw motor. All right. Uh, first thing I need is my until command for the potentiometer. All right. I'm going to go to natural language until and I'm going to say until the potentiometer is greater than all right so I want the potentiometer to, potentiometer to be turned past a certain point and then have it open the claw okay so that position uh, it has to be between 0 and 4095 I'm going to pick 3000 it's kind of a, it's a good high number uh, we're good with that and then sensor port IN2 I and two, okay. And now for the claw, we have to do something a little bit different with the claw. The claw has a motor, so we're going to start a motor, but we won't just leave it. The claw has a very limited range of motion, so let me see if I can show you this again. When it opens, it only opens to a certain point, and then it stops. If I keep the motor running at this point and trying to force it open more than that. It's just going to burn out the motor or break the gears in the motor. So I have to start the motor, run it for two seconds or so, and then stop motor. And same with closing it. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. So potentiometer greater than start motor. I'm going to go to wait. And then I'm going to pull a stop motor command in. Okay. So motor port now has to be port 1, or I could type in claw motor, as you see it up here on the top. Speed, I don't have to have it run very fast. Uh, the claw motor doesn't have to have, be anywhere in a hurry. It just opens and closes. I'll pick like 35, okay? And then wait time, let's go 2 seconds. And stop motor again would be port 1, okay? So... Start motor, port 1, speed of 35, wait 2 seconds, stop that motor. Okay. That will either open or close it, depending on how it's plugged in. Let me see if I can get this over here. Okay. So if I turn it one way, the motor is going to start one way, and it's going to open. And then if I turn this the other way, the motor has to operate in reverse. 
And to do that, it's going to be a negative number in front of the speed. So here's a shortcut. I don't have to go drag and drop everything again. I can highlight what's on my screen, copy, and then I'm going to paste it down here. Okay. Now all I have to do is a little bit of editing until potentiometer greater than becomes potentiometer less than, capital L-E-S-S. -S. Start motor port 1, it's still plugged in the same place. 35 is going to be negative 35. Now, these commands from 12 to 15 are exactly the opposite of the commands from 7 to 10. Okay, let me compile my program. Sounds good. Um, download robot. I had this downloaded earlier. Let's see if it still works. Okay. Oops, I've lost my box. Okay. On the bottom, we see where my potentiometer is, 341. So I do want to say when that gets to 3,000, it opens a claw. So start. Now let's watch what happens as I turn the potentiometer. The number at the bottom right down here does get bigger when it gets to 3,000. It opens. Now if I turn the potentiometer the other way, there we go. Oh, I forgot to change that number. See? Um, so this way, it still works. I mean, there's no problem there. I can open it. And then as soon as I turn it below 3,000, it's going to close again. Uh, and that's pretty good. If I want this to be a repeating program, I can add a while command. Uh, turn this into an open loop. Again, that's uh, after number six here. I type in the word while, W-H-I-L-E, in parentheses. I type 1 equals equals 1, close parentheses, then enter. I have to do an extra curly bracket on the top. That's a left curly bracket. On my keyboard, it's shift, and it's the key right to the right of the letter P. And then I go down to the bottom, and I have to have an extra right curly bracket, which is shift, and it's the button that is two keys right letter P. Okay, and then I'm just going to make this little adjustment as long as I have the opportunity to bring that down to 2000. Okay, here we are. Let's see how things look. Okay, start. And go back. Start and go back. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that is the claw. I think you'll have fun with that. And good luck.